SAP Lemura is a self-service analytics and data visualization tool. Fast data manipulation and engaging visualizations allow you to combine and analyze data from a variety of sources to quickly gain unique insights for on-the-spot decision making. SAP Lumira uses the latest visualization technologies, the HTML5 library of visuals on any data volume, with its seamless integration with SAP Business One version for SAP HANA, or across all data assets from spreadsheets to databases to big data. SAP Lumira allows you to tell a story with your data, combining visualizations in storyboards. It allows you to automate data preparation and uses the power of internet search on your data. We're now logged in to the SAP Lemira application. The interface to SAP Lemira is designed to provide easy access to any tools you might need to acquire, visualize and share your data. The menu bar is available on all SAP Lemira pages and contains a collection of menus enabling you to access the full range of features of the application. On the home page, the graphic outline is the main workflow with SAP Lemira and provides a quick way to launch the process of acquiring data and creating a new document. The document browser allows quick access to your items, SAP Lemira Cloud, and the connections between your documents and data sources. At the bottom of the page, you have valuable links to samples, learning materials and communities, documentation and social media services. By creating a new dataset connection to our SAP Business One version for SAP HANA environment, we will show you how easy and simple it is to analyse sales revenue performance, for example, by sales employee, sales amount and by posting year. To do this, we navigate to the file menu and select new. Or from the graphic outline, we can simply click acquire data. We want to connect to our SAP HANA environment for SAP Business One, so we're going to select the option connect to SAP HANA. We then select our server and login details. By entering our server login details, we're now able to select a HANA view for our report. And for this example, it is the sales revenue analytical view from the SBO Demo US Demo Database. So we select our demo database that we want to use, and then we select the sales revenue HANA view. And now we can create our data set. This leads you to the visualization tool, which enables you to define your measures and attributes of your report and how you would like to visualize your analysis. You can step back into the preparation phase, which allows you to prepare your data by performing, for example, any type of data filtering or sorting or calculations before assembling your report. Back in the visualization phase, we now need to select the measures and attributes for our report analysis. We are measuring our revenue by sales amount against the following attributes, posting date by year and sales employee. And to do this, we simply click on the measure that we want to use. And then we select the appropriate attributes. Posting date by year and sales employee. We now want to filter revenue performance by sales employee and to do this we are going to use the sales employee Sophie Clog. We can simply click on Sophie Clog and then we've got the option to filter by Sophie Clog or exclude her from the report. In this case we're going to filter by Sophie Clog. If we want to further filter by posting year we can simply select by holding down the shift key 
the years that we want to filter by, and then again decipher whether we want to filter or exclude these years in your report. And then in this case, we're going to filter by 2012 and 2013. So now we've created a very simple analytical view of sales revenue by sales employee, and we've filtered those results by sales employee as well. If we want to view all of the sales employees again, we can simply delete sales employee from the filter option. Once we have prepared our analysis, we can save our document. And we've got the option to either save our document to a local hard drive or to the SAP Lumira cloud environment. Now that we've saved our visualization, we can move on to the compose phase. Here we have the option to simply select the visual data that we've saved to create a storyboard. We can select a visualization that we created previously and drop it into the visualization box. We can then give our storyboard a title such as sales revenue by sales employee. We can further add any particular attributes to the control box. For example, if we scroll down to our sales employee name attribute and drag that into the control box, we can further filter our storyboard by sales employee, for example, by simply clicking on the sales employee name. Once you've completed your storyboard, we can simply save the storyboard. And now we've got the option to share our visualization storyboard. So we will move on to the share phase. Here we have the option to publish your data set to SAP HANA. You can publish your data set to the Explorer, to the SAP Lumira Cloud, or you can even publish your work to Streamwork. You can also send your visualization by mail or export it as a file. SAP Lumira offers a self-service user experience, which means no need for IT to create predefined content. With universal data access on the web, mobile and desktop, both online and offline, it's easy to get and deploy with both cloud and on-premise options. SAP Lumira is really designed to provide easy access to any tools you might need to acquire, visualize, and share your data.